Hey guys, this is a perfect demonstration of what uh, loser skew is. So basically, I'm out here. Um, yeah, as you can he as you can hear, three nine four six four six zero eight, and that's not the only thing. This guy here, the Elise. Um, so just to get a a bit of a glimpse of what loser skew is basically um okay where is it there is there it is um um okay sorry not this the fuck um Okay, here it is. So basically, we have this guy right here, um, Amba Aus. He was playing a Zerath, um, basically scripting. This guy legit scripted, um, made it extremely obvious. Also, he either has a purchased account or he is just very boosted. He only has games from almost a year ago although his match history is bugged out uh so i gotta move so that i don't get a penalty um so i think the match history itself is bugged out um but he has a 60 percent win rate he has a 60 percent win rate and uh probably has very high mmr now this game right here he so what you have to understand is that some people who have high MMR will be winners queued. And those who are winners queued are either winners queued by being matched with other winners, people with high MMR, or they are winners queued by being matched with losers queues in the enemy. So the fact that I was playing against this guy, this game right here, the fact that I was playing against this guy meant that I'm in loser skew basically proves it. And then you have this game, you know this is the winner skew team, and this is the loser skew game. Katarina, the Master Yi, was actually on on my team on this game. Uh don't forget to move. Like there is no point playing this game out. Uh so the guy named Katarina who was playing uh, my support is in loser's queue. And you know that because he played against uh, Amber Aus two times in a row. This time though, he won. He won the game because mysteriously Amber Aus went AFK at level 6, 0, 2. Probably had enough. This guy, Elise Gochi. 26 9 this guy is an extreme smurf uh, like he plays good even in this game 13 and 1 e each one of her games are like this um the fact that i got her in my team basically shows that i'm in loser's queue and there's no point of playing these games out the last three games I had were the same. It's like everyone just making, like, like not making a single good decision somehow, and not understanding the, the basic of what loser skew is. It's it's like there's no point playing these games out. Um, so legit, just have to go AFK and that's it, pretty much. Uh, so this is Gochi. He has a 70% win rate. Crazy. Uh, but this guy is actually gold, 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 gold. So I don't really understand. Uh, I want to look at myself too. So this is how Doozer's cute guy looks like. 49% win rate. Uh, doesn't show most of the games because OPGG is extremely slow. Uh, I don't know what's up with OPGG servers. Look at that, how long it's loading. Professor would show everything by now. Yeah, look at that. 
there you go so loss 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 it's just, it's like not even worth playing these games out it's like every time like not a single good decision from these guys okay this was lost because Sarath was was scripting the guy had 190 cs the guy was not csing at all because he understood that he doesn't need cs every time he pressed ultimate at least two people died there was no point play there was no point playing the game out and then you have this game it's like 12 15 5 16 9 15 3 12 like and then like what's the point it's like these guys were running around dying we could have taken baron like two times in this game and we took it once i guess yeah once these guys took it once as well it's like loser's queue is absolutely like the worst possible thing like the worst mechanic in any online game it's like i'm not allowed to have fair games because my mmr which is again a completely like absolutely nonsensically fabricated um system according to my mmr i should be in a lower rank so i am not allowed to play uh fair games because these games are not fair it's like what do you do in a game where it's like okay i died two times uh because i was stupid enough to switch with katarina on mid uh and i got dove by set and elise and I got killed by action by and, and I also got a kill, so like we killed each other with action. At that point, at that point, when I these guys were already dead like five plus times, each of them. It's like three and ten. How do you not ever stop and think to yourself, maybe I should just stop dying less, maybe I should just not fight if they are ahead? It's like crazy. Like, loser's queue is crazy. You will probably never win a single loser's queue game unless you are lucky enough that the 60% win rate smurf randomly goes AFK. And, and it's crazy how, again, it's not just loser's queue. It's my bad luck that we pl I, I play against this guy. They win. Like, we lose. Okay. He plays against him again. He goes AFK and he gets a free win. It's like, come on, man. He, he was 2 and 11 and won the game. 7 12. Like 15 10. 10 15. Like, what are these scores? 4 13. This is plat elo, guys. This is fucking plat elo. Okay, never mind. We have silver ones and plat fours. In the same game. What is this matchmaking? Maybe I should just stop playing at fucking night. What is this, guys? Please. Riot Games. Remove Loser's Q. Rework the whole MMR system. Because this is not fair. What's going on in mid-elo. In mid-low-elo. Is absolutely insane. What is going on here is completely insane. Like, you play unwinnable games after unwinnable games with the worst teammates ever who don't have the motivation or just the skill set to win. And they drag you down, thus ruining your MMR, and then you get even worse teammates because your MMR is bad. It's like, there is no winning. And even if you win, even if you fucking win, you don't get LP. Because your MMR is low, you shouldn't be climbing. Well, I just fucking won. If I'm winning, I should be climbing. As long as I'm not 0% win rate, I should be climbing. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching.